watching the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference on ESPN. Day two of the quarterfinals, day four of the tournament continues in downtown Norfolk. Our field has dwindled to just six teams. The Maryland Eastern Shore Hawks with a big upset win over Coppin State. They've earned a spot in the quarterfinals and they are without their best player. They've got a tough, tall order against a Hampton Pirates team who's been off longer than anybody else. This is their first game of the whole tournament as the three seed. They had to wait until Thursday to get here. Here's how Maryland Eastern Shore got to this game and the victory over Coppin State. A 62-59 win that went right down to the wire. The Eastern Shore Hawks did just enough to hold off Coppin State. Alexis Hicks led the way with 18 points. 12 points from Moise Sabritsky in a big game as well. Tori Morris played well in the paint with 10. It was the Hawks' ability to shoot the ball from the outside early that got them dancing on the sidelines and having a whole lot of fun against the Coppin State Eagles. A look at the bracket now as we get you set for Day two of our quarterfinals. We have semifinal action coming tomorrow. Second game of the day will feature Norfolk State and Florida AM. And with that, we welcome inside the broadcast booth. I'm Brendan Gulick alongside Maryland Hall of Famer Christy Winter Scott. We are ready for the fourth day of the tournament, and it's starting to get really fun because Hampton and Norfolk State are both playing today. It's basically a home crowd for those two schools. They're gonna play in back-to-back -back games, so the energy in the arena is great. And this particular matchup is awesome because they played once already this season, and Hampton blew a 21-point lead in losing yeah. to the Hawks. Yeah, it's difficult when you have injuries, and David Six said prior to the game that he has to play zone, and he is a defensive-minded coach. He hates to play the zone, but because of the injuries, he's had to go to that. And the way UMES shoots the three ball, they lead the league shooting 32 percent they make six threes a game so against the zone things could open up quickly well Moise Sabritsky because of Siani Byram's absence she has to be her best today well she leads the team in minutes and she is the X factor when she's on the floor she's near the top in every statistical category for UMES on the other side of things Hampton has also uh, found a way to play without their best player, which means Kayla Lupo has big shoes to fill. And that's what David Six told me prior to the game. He said Kayla Lupo has to be the player to step up offensively and defensively for them. She leads the team in block shots, and she was honored with second team all MIAC conference player this year. I'll tell you what, when you think Hampton women's basketball, you think Malia Tate DeFritis, the right. senior, who is unable to play. You get a look at her there. She got hurt earlier this year, out for the rest of the season. It ended her career because she has no more eligibility remaining. More on the two-time player of the year in the conference in just a while. But for now, we're underway. It's the Hampton Lady Pirates with the opening tip, and we are off and running in day four of the MEAC tournament. 